What's up everyone, Persia here, and today we're talking Legends of Runeterra. Not only is this game a unique take on the card game genre, but the art and soul of each and every card will remind you why you've grown to love these champions in the first place. Legends of Runeterra has masterfully translated some of our favorite champions from League of Legends to fit seamlessly into the card game genre without losing the charm and utility of their original form. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of GameSpot's favorite Legends of Runeterra cards. You either love him or you hate him. Either way, he's ready for duty. Teemo in LOR is as cute and dangerous as ever, as he's rightfully equipped with his poison puff caps. Much like in League of Legends, you're gonna wanna watch your step, or draw in this case, because with every Nexus Strike, Teemo plants five puff caps randomly in your deck. At 15 caps total, he levels up and doubles that count with every Nexus Strike. Which means if he's left unattended, you could possibly end up with hundreds of shrooms ready to pop every time you draw a card. Being elusive makes that slightly easier, but he's relatively squishy, so if you're the one in control of Teemo, he'll need an extra bit of attention to keep him alive. Successfully leveling up not only gives you an adorable animation, but a much more fitting splash art of him running from a massive explosion of puff caps. Don't let it be you. One of my favorite things about LOR is seeing how champions have been adapted for card games without losing their flavor as who we know them to be. Braum is a great example of that. He's still a phenomenal body shield with an immaculate mustache, and this time around, the power of the Poros is stronger than ever. You're gonna wanna take him out sooner rather than later. However, that's gonna be easier said than done since he regenerates his health after every round and has Challenger equipped, so he's able to choose who he's taking damage from. After blocking 10 damage total, we get to see that award-winning smile and he calls in a mighty Poro whenever he survives damage after that. Before you know it, you could be facing Braum and his Poro army who are ready to overwhelm you. Trindamir is another dangerous champion, but for the complete opposite reason Braum is. Instead of blocking, Trindamir will gladly welcome all the damage that comes his way. Just like in League of Legends, when you think you're gonna kill him, you face the wrath of his undying rage and he becomes a whole new problem. We already know Trindamir is a threat, but he levels up upon death, which will make you think twice about how and when you want to make your moves. His leveled up splash art totally encapsulates his rage and rightfully earns him the fearsome buff, leaving only enemies with an attack higher than 3 able to take him on. That mixed with overwhelm and a stronger, tankier form makes him as terrifying as ever. Last but certainly not least will actually be two cards. Lucian and Cinna are not only perfect for each other, but they're also perfect in LOR as they bring a bit of their backstory with them as a working mechanic. As a champion card, Lucian is able to level up, but only does so when Cinna dies in front of him, which turns him into a deadly force who's out for revenge. His League of Legends passive comes to light as he gains double attack, and the first time any ally dies, he gains rally, which allows you to attack again, even if it's not your turn. Cinna is not a champion card herself, but she does gain a buff when she sees Lucian die too. Seeing Lucian and Cinna fighting side by side in Cinna's splash art is too cool, especially when you know their backstory. But what's really impactful is the intensity in Lucian's eyes when he levels up. You can feel the pain behind them after losing her and his determination to take out everyone who's had a hand in it. That wraps it up for our favorite cards, but any card could have easily made this list since they're all just that good. Whether it be the art, the utility, or the intricate translation of our favorite champs, there is always something new to find in Legends of Runeterra. If you like League of Legends and its universe, but want to change a pace, then maybe it's time to give Legends of Runeterra a try. Thanks for watching.